M Sports. Emotions are high, competition is fierce, and postseason basketball is providing classic moments on a nightly basis. It's already been a great week, and here we go again. In Illinois Class 4A, when Alton played Collinsville to a one-point game last week, Quincy High knew that their tonight's first-round game against the Redbirds would be a stressful one. Let's go down to Edwardsville to see how the high-flying Blue Devils fared against the slow-it-down Alton Redbirds. Alton got out and pressured Quincy's guard all game. Here, Bradley Lonker the third throws it inside to Keyshawn Thomas, and he's able to get on the board. Next trip down the court, it's Thomas again, but he didn't know about it. An hour later, Thomas would be a hero. Here, it's Longcourt finding Keyshawn again. He scored Quincy's first three buckets. He had a dozen in the game. Camden Brown made this one look easy as he takes the hole and gets, he had nine points tonight. Dom Clay came off the bench and provided a boost, knocks down a three right there. He had 11 tonight. Longcourt would also hit a three at the buzzer to give Quincy High a four point lead into the half. The lead went back and forth in the fourth quarter, and Quincy would win it with less than two seconds left on a Ralph Wires pass to Keyshawn Thomas for a game winning layup. Your final Quincy High 48, Alton 47. They'll play off on Friday for the regional championship. It was a loud one in Warsaw as the Chargers took on the Titans for the regional semifinal. Illini West with the lead in the second half, and they would dig, add to it here with a nice backdoor pass to Hayden Rankin. West Hancock trying to dig out of the hole in the second half. Gage Scott from downtown. That one's good. Titans with the slight advantage trying to hold on. They dish it down low to Cooper Knowles, and he fights through the contact for the score. Chargers weren't going to throw in the towel just yet. They swing it to Ethan Carlisle, and he'll spot up from beyond the arc. He fires away, and that three-pointer is on the mark. IW within striking distance. However, after a critical turnover, West Hancock would make their free throws, and the Titans would escape Illini West 44-39. to Fans getting their popcorn ready for the second game of the night between Pleasant Plains and Pittsfield. Saucy's looking to set the tone from the opening tip. Javon Petty takes it to the cup. He's able to get Pittsfield on the board first. The red and black wouldn't stop there. They go right back to the post as Connor Allen knocking this one off the glass after the nice post move. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Saucy's again in the painted area. This time, they'll feed Eli Mendenhall clocking in his time card as he comes away with a tough fern bucket. Down the stretch, Pleasant Plains would find their groove and they would take down Pittsfield 57 to 47. And other regional semifinal action in Illinois, Quincy Notre Dame ends their season of Williamsville. Rout and Grigsville Perry in a classic triple overtime thriller. Grigsville Perry falling 55 to 53. McComb takes down Farmington 59 48. Camp Point defeats Rushville 56 to 30. And Southeastern falls Delavan 37 to 20. All over the river in Missouri, girls basketball action. Palmyra defeats Macon 49 to 38. South Shelby edges out Highland 52 to 48. And North Shelby defeats Marion County 63 to 44. Canton gets by Louisiana 61 to 39.